today we're going to talk about whether you should go to film school or not is film school worth it it's a lot of money and maybe it doesn't pan out to what they tell you it is i went to a film school in atlanta called scott and i did an ma in film and television and i went to this film school back here new york film academy in los angeles to do two semesters in just cinematography and after all that i can't say that what i learned in film school took me to where i am today but i can't say that film school didn't give me the knowledge and the tools to get where i am today let me explain as with everything in life you know nothing is guaranteed nothing is really going to give you what you expect if you don't put in the other hat that is expected of you i've met a lot of people in film school that felt like they didn't even want to go there that just didn't put in the work and they were expected that at the end of doing you know an x amount of courses they were just going to get a job or a career in film and television turns out it's not that easy and the main lesson that i learned by going through one whole film school and like a couple uh, and two semesters of another is that the value of film school is 100 the two tools they give you to practice and the people you meet. Everything they teach you in class, you can learn anywhere else. You can go to YouTube, you can even go to my channel and bam, here you go. Lesson after lesson on how to start filmmaking, how to do your own stuff. But working with cinema cameras, going to actual backlots to shoot and big studios here in LA, meeting people with the same interests that you, you become friends with and then you start working more with is in the end the core value of going to an institution to learn film. Whether it's fully necessary, whether it's the first stepping stone into a career of film is debatable because it's not a, it's not a requirement where it's, where it's like, if you don't go to film school, you're never gonna work in film. If you don't put in the work, if you don't make the connections, if you don't do the networking, then it doesn't matter what you do, whether you go to film school or not, you're not going anywhere. You have to evaluate to begin with. If you have the money to do this, then it's a worthy experience. Sometimes it's too expensive, might not be worth it. But if you have nothing, or if you have very little resources to start with, don't be discouraged. There are ways into this industry without having to shell out a down payment for a house up front. Los Angeles, California, city of dreams, the boulevard of broken dreams as well. Why is it that the film industry is here? And why is it so important for you to move from wherever you are to come here to work in film? Well, as with any industry, whenever you're in the epicenter where things are happening, there's gonna be more jobs, there's gonna be more industries attached to it, and there's gonna be more opportunities to grow in what you wanna do in entertainment. I used to live in Atlanta. Atlanta is also an epicenter of entertainment, or at least it's beginning to be an epicenter of entertainment. And I used to work here and there, and people here would tell you to move to Atlanta, and people in Atlanta would say, yeah, jobs are here, work is here, you should move here, work in entertainment. But my experience was that as soon as I moved here, my opportunities in film skyrocketed. Was that because I went to film school or was that because I'm in the right place at the right time? That's something that I still don't know the answer to, correct? It's probably what everybody else is saying that as soon as you move here, you can start working in entertainment and the film or working as an actor. But the thing is with cities like LA is that since everybody is doing that here and there's a huge industry in film or around film, you can meet people that are working there already which will connect you into working in the industry. Maybe you're not working in positions like main actor or as a director, you can start working in stuff like in the grip department, electrical, and from there on, meet people. In the end, the film industry is an industry that they don't care about your resume, they don't care about where you graduated from, or even what you know. What they care is that you have a good attitude, show up on time, and do your job right, and let others do their job. The issue with a city like LA is that it's extremely expensive to live in and therefore film school is even more expensive. You have this problem of like, if I go to a film school in LA, I'm gonna meet like-minded people and I'm gonna get to do the film school stuff and then work in the industry, but it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, probably both. If you go to film school in a different place, a different city, a different state, a different country, then you can get some of the knowledge on film school for a lot cheaper and then you move here, meet with like-minded people and start working in the industry. So you do the free part of working in the film industry plus the film school experience part of getting to use the tools, getting to meet some like-minded people, getting to start to plant the seed to grow your knowledge in the world of the film industry. I can't deny the benefits of going to film school or what they did to me. In film school, I got to use professional grade tools like cinema cameras, grip equipment, and professional lighting gear. And I learned how to operate it and put it where it needs to be. That to me was invaluable. Learning how to use all these resources and managing it is something that I think is worth the money. But 
Could I have learned that just by going to set and observing and asking people that are already professionals? Absolutely. Now that's a bigger step to reach because I, I would have had to know somebody that was already in the industry to connect me and to get me to work with them. Do you have that available in your life? If you do, then that could possibly be a very good option to get started working in film. If you don't, then you don't have to come to a city as expensive as LA to go to a film school to then get in the industry. And don't be scared if maybe the film industry is not the thing for you. There's a bunch of adjacent industries to the entertainment industry you know podcasting videography social media managers there's all kinds of careers that you can do that are going to be connected just by getting connected to the industry itself in an epicenter like la for example i had a friend in my old school film school in atlanta that had a very hard time shooting films because he thought he wanted to be a DP. And at every shoot that went by, he was like, man, this is not exactly why I envision. Why am I so frustrated? Why doesn't my vision translate to the screen? Turns out he wanted to be a videographer. And then when he gave a shot to being a videographer by himself without, imagine, he forgot everything he learned in film school and just went and did what he did before film school and watched some free videos and he got it immediately and started being one of the best videographers that I know. Don't think the film school is the only calling to this industry. Don't think that you have to come to film school. Don't think that you even have to move to LA to be successful and to try to get a step in. But what I will say for certain is that in Los Angeles, you are going to be closer and you're going to have more opportunities to work around or in the entertainment industry. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you and said that film school to me was completely worthless and that I didn't learn anything. I did learn a lot of things in film school. I had some of the best professors I've ever had that would guide me and teach me things that I apply still today. Is it something that only they would know? Well, they were also filmmakers and they just gave that information to me. So it's not like they wouldn't learn those same things out of experience, you know? They worked in big pictures, they worked in commercials, they worked in the in, in adjacent industries and with what they learned they just told me lessons from their own lives so yes having that connection to those professors was extremely valuable not to mention the facilities and the people that you would meet going to film school my first job in a feature film was with somebody that i met in film school and he gave me a position to be a camera operator in and i got to experience what being a camera operator for a whole feature film is and that to me was invaluable experience that i still use to this day on my resume not to mention the countless short films that i had to to do several crew positions for let's say I, that's where I learned how to become a first assistant camera second assistant camera that's where I learned what a key grip does what gaffers do I got to do it over and over and over again in order to become good at it and then be able to charge money for it of course I had to do it for dozens of times for free it is a normal part of your education but in the end that was experience and that was repetition to get to where I am today. In film school, I also had the opportunity to know exactly what I wanted to become. I gave a shot to writing, I gave a shot to directing, I gave a shot to producing, and I gave a shot to cinematography. And in the end, I landed that I really wanted to be as a cinematographer. If you don't know what your path is, or if you don't know what you can do, maybe in film school, you get to try a lot of different things with a lot of time and a lot of practice to really, really be sure, okay, once I step into the industry, this is what I'm going to focus on. When you are not going to a school and when you're just doing this through connections, then you face the issue of starting maybe in a department that you're not really passionate about and then branching out from there by meeting more people. One path costs you money and time and the other path just costs you time. To summarize, there is no easy way to answer the question of whether you should go to film school or not. It all depends on your economic situation and it depends on who do you know, where do you live, all kinds of factors. What I can say is that I've been able to see both sides of this coin. I have been the side of the coin that goes to film school and then moves on to their career and I have seen the side that doesn't go to film school but somehow gets in and then pursues their career, getting paid very early into their career. A good example is that I knew someone in Atlanta that didn't go to film school but was always in all the student film sets doing positions like grip like gaffer sometimes in the camera department and his persistence and him being there all the time made him a valuable resource to us which then eventually led to us calling him into gigs that we were getting you know bigger gigs that we were getting paid for bigger gigs that were outside the, the student sphere and that was his in into the industry being around students or being around people that are actually going to film school making yourself available to them to help them in their projects whether paid or unpaid unpaid if you're getting started paid if you know you already have established 
establish yourself. So even if you have a friend, a family member, anybody that is doing that for you, you can kind of piggyback into what they are doing to get yourself in the industry. Also, don't think that if you're somebody with no connections at all and no money to go to film school, you won't be able to get into the industry. Again, there's hundreds of industries adjacent to the film industry that could serve as an in to uh, making movies and making bigger stuff. The good or the bad thing about the entertainment industry is that you don't need a degree to, to be able to get in or you need a degree to be able to get taken seriously. In some other industries like the healthcare industry or like even the finance industry, if you don't go to school for it, eh, you put in your years of education behind it, there's no way you're getting in. Thankfully, the film industry works a lot more like, I want to say construction, where it's like put in the work, get there on time and have a good attitude and you definitely will be called back and you definitely will start growing every Every gig that you go to. In conclusion, don't feel discouraged and don't feel like these possibilities are out of your reach. Whether you're doing it through film school or doing it through connections, the duality of this industry is that you get places through networking and that serves for you well when you have a network, but when you don't have a network, then it's a lot more difficult to find jobs and get going. But as soon as you start getting the first few gigs and people start liking you and calling you back, you're pretty much in. I'm not gonna say you're gonna guarantee jobs every week or every month after that, but with time, these things develop and with time you can build a robust and ongoing career in the entertainment industry. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you on the next one. My Instagram handle is down here, luima.cini, and stay tuned for the next video.